morning. Um, just taking everybody else to school. Um, Jackson doesn't have nursery today, do you? No. No. So we are going for a little trip up a little local beauty spot and I thought we'd do some, go and get some nice photos and go and have a look. Yeah. Yeah. Jackson had his hair cut last, yesterday. Don't you look smart? Yeah. Right then, off we go. This house is beautiful. It's so pretty. Um, it's had a few celebrities renting it out. We've had um, Leonardo DiCaprio, um, I think Scarlett Johansson, um, Steven Spielberg, and I can't remember anymore. Um, we've, we have, we used to have a Hollywood A-list actor that lived in our town. Lovely, lovely man. He's since passed away. I'm not going to say who it is because his family still live here. So, um, just because of their privacy, but he was lovely, lovely, lovely. He was good friends with my mum and dad. You can't see. There you go. He was very good friends with my mum and dad. And um, <laughs> it's funny, I didn't realise how famous he was until I got much older. And it didn't even click when I saw him at the cinema in a, a, an amazing film. And I saw him the next day and it suddenly clicked. I was like, oh my God, that was you. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's so sad. He unfortunately got cancer and passed away. But he was so, 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 so lovely. And so lots of people that he worked with, his friends. He was very good friends with Steven Spielberg. And he used to, he used to come and visit here quite a lot. I used to see him in the local co-op, <laughs> which is quite disconcerting. <laughs> when you see Steven Spielberg popping around the corner. So here we are. I don't think the camera does this justice of just how beautiful it is. We're in a valley. You want to go? Oh, you windy pants this morning. Even bought a hot water bottle <laughs> to keep him warm. He wanted to come and he wanted to come and now we're here. He's not. He wants to keep moving. So, um, yeah, oh, my hat's falling off. My care bear hat, keep us warm this morning. Hey, it's all wrapped up. Hee <laughs> hee. You <gonna> smile? No. <laughs> right then, let's keep moving then. Yeah, so it is absolutely stunning up here. I brought. You're a hold of me. Hey? You're a hold of me. You're alright? Um, bought all my cameras because I want to try and take some nice shots this morning. Um, quite lucky because it was when we set out this morning. It's all right, I've got you. <laughs> um, when we set out this morning, it was so foggy. All these hills were just covered. So quite lucky that it's um, that it's not now. Right, hang on, I'm just going to cross over the road because this bit's a bit bumpety. So. Uh, Oh, lean back, chat, chat. So it is stunning. So further up the valley that I can't actually get to in my wheelchair, we have a waterfall and a reservoir. They're both absolutely stunning and beautiful, but unfortunately I can't get to them. So you won't be seeing those today. It's nice, isn't it? We're just at the shop at the top. Look, you get National Trust Monopoly. That's awesome. Right, anyway, didn't know you could get um, National Trust. Monopoly, that's awesome. I'm gonna have to try and get that. <laughs> Let me just zoom in so you can have a look. You see, oh. That's so cool. Right, you see this building here. Oh, excuse my nail varnish coming off. This building here. Um, used to be um, an old workhouse. Um, it has since now been turned into apartments. Oh, you right, Jack Jack? Yeah. Um, but remember studying it at school that this was the uh, old workhouse. Um, which is, if you, if you don't know what a workhouse is, it's. Um, I think they were sort of Victorian, possibly. Um, and it was where people used to come if they didn't have enough money or they were very, very poor or sick. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> I'm not, I wasn't very good on history. 
the sun's just come out so it looks beautiful up here now with the sun out um, but just as we're coming up I'm just about to show you the most gorgeous gorgeous house that I would absolutely love to live in if I could um, sorry I'm a bit close to it so you can't get the full effect but let me show you Stunning. I can't, I'm not on the path, I was on the path, I could actually show you a little bit better. Um, because obviously I'm a little bit close. Oh, hang on, just going through a bit of a dip there. Hang on, let me just try. It's all right, we've come to, we've got this little bit and then there's a big ford down there and I'm not sure whether I can get my wheelchair through it or not. So, right, right. Yeah, me and Jackson are about to see if we can get through this. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, doesn't look too deep. Let's give it a go. Or we might have to go back and go over the bridge and use the path. Right then, Jack Jack. What we don't want to do is break down. Right, I'm just using my camera as well to make sure there's nothing coming behind me so I can get out the way quick. Right. Yay! We did it! We did it! We did it! Wow, the sun is beautiful now. Back to taking some more photos. I mean, the camera really doesn't do it justice. You can't get um, a perspective of how big these hills are. Oh, let's get through here. All right, right. no oh. more cars now, because the car park's shut off. Um, but it is truly a beautiful, beautiful place. It's so nice in the summer. We've lost the sun again now. Hey? It's all right, we're gonna keep going. Um, in the summer, it's beautiful, and it's heaving in the summer. I, you know, so busy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm just dropping my camera. Sorry, it's on a tripod. It's just easier to carry that way. I find it's not as heavy. Because um, obviously when you're holding it for a long time. Um, I couldn't do this with my uh, big nick on. I just couldn't hold it for this length of time. <clears throat> Sorry, just lifting Jackson back on my knee. So, yes. If I just pan you around. I am. So, so pretty, isn't it? I got you. I got you. So, I'm going to try and get across over there. There is a bridge, and I think the path isn't too bad. I think it is um, doable. Oh, photo opportunity. Back in a minute. Jackson's throwing stones into the stream. You find another one? Yeah? Right, careful. Yay! Right, let's go up here a little way now then. Here we are, just managed to get up. A bit of a steep path, but nothing too major. My trusty birth of the wheelchair handled it. <laughs> so we've just come up, oh, that path. So. It's absolutely so quiet today. Yeah. You see that water down there? Yeah. That comes off the big reservoir. Yeah. The big reservoir is all the way up there. You can see right off in the distance. Hang on. Let's go this way. Right, if you can see right off in the distance you can see like that hill there. That one. The reservoir's in there. And it's absolutely stunning. Um, we all used to come swimming up here when we were younger, even though you're not supposed to, but we did. And I think people, lots of people still do, to be honest. Um, we all, everybody, yeah. Uh, 
everybody from around here always goes. As soon as it's a hot day, that's it. Everybody's up, up there swimming. Huge tower that people jump off. So, uh, hang on Jack Jack, let's just get a good. So here we are. Wave Jack Jack. No. No. So, yeah, it is stunning. Thank goodness for a long tripod. So, oh God, hats really don't suit me. But it's cold. So you have to have a hat on when it's cold. Don't you, Jack-Jack? Yeah. Couldn't find your hat this morning though, could we? No. No, so Jackson is wrapped up. He's got a big thick jumper. He's got a top on, a big thick jumper on, his coat on, his body warmer on. And he's got my wrap. And we've got a hot water bottle <laughs> haven't we yeah. hot water bottle or oh, wheelchair decided it's gonna start moving so right i'm just gonna take a few pictures up here and then uh, i haven't even got my other camera out yet i'm really liking this canon um the picture quality is fantastic i was only gonna get my other one out just for the um because obviously it's got a better lens uh, i can zoom in a lot more uh, but i haven't needed it so um it's not fully redundant you know i'm never gonna stop using my dslr for photography but this is coming a very 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 close second it really is what i might do actually is take a shot and do a comparison that's what i'm gonna do yeah well i managed to get oh hang on i managed to get about five or six shots off the other camera and the battery died guess who didn't recharge it this idiot right here never mind so i remember to put that on charge when we get back gosh right then so we're going to go back down this way back down and then back down there back through that ford again and go home because it's cold right we've just had a bit of a nightmare coming down that slope behind me um my wheelchair didn't like it and it kept tipping forward so i put my um leg out to stop us falling forward and that jolted my knee and dislocated it so i've got it back i think just about it's a little bit sore but obviously and anybody else watching with EDS, you'll know that for us, dislocations, you just deal with it and put it back in. Other, You know, people that don't understand this illness think dislocation, they're like, oh my God. It is oh my God and it hurts and it's horrible, but we know how to sort them out and put them back in. <laughs> Mom, we'll yes, darling. We'll go home. Yeah, we go home now. Just got back onto the road now, my road. And as you can see, he's gone fast asleep. <laughs> Bless him, it's really worn him out. Um, so I'm going to go inside, have a nice hot chocolate or cup of coffee, I don't know yet, um, and get warm. Um, the uh, I'm glad we're coming home now because the clouds are rolling in and it's actually covered up the uh, the hills now. So uh, I think we chose the right moment to go because uh, I don't think I'd get very many good photos now. So that's it for me today. Take care and I'll see you soon.